Hey, what's up? It's Triggy, and today we're going to be putting together an electric piano. We're not starting totally from scratch. We're going to harvest the electronics from this electric piano, make some modifications, and move them into a new housing. If we open up this piano, we see the electronics consist of a central board connected to two speakers, a display board, and the keys. We can remove the keys to see how they work. They are just pieces of plastic screwed in place. And underneath we see what look like buttons. This is the content of the piano. There are LEDs under the keys that light up when you play a note, but I'm not interested in those, so I'm going to remove the connections to the LEDs. And as you can see, this simplifies the electronics considerably. Let's take another look at these buttons. They're rubber tentacle looking things, and when they're depressed, they make an electrical connection on the board underneath. And, in theory, the piano key will push down on these rubber studs, but in practice they seem to be a bit evasive. So I'm going to remove this line of holes from the original housing, and then screw everything down onto a piece of particle board to hold it in place. This makes it easier for the keys to hit the buttons. To make sure they don't miss, I'm gluing some thick paper from a manila folder onto the keys to increase their surface area. Then it's just a matter of attaching the keys and screwing them down. I'll glue the keys onto the base of the piano with some spacers so that the keys can be pushed down. On another piece of wood, I'm going to start cutting out pieces for the frame. This piece here is going to be the front panel, so it needs holes for the controls, the display, and the speakers. If we attach the electronics onto the board, it looks like this. That really cleaned up nicely. The wood surface is a bit too raw though, so I'll sand down the exposed faces. Then I'll apply a stain to the wood. I thought this reddish one looks pretty cool. I'll give the stained pieces a bit of varnish, and then it's time to reassemble. Let's put the speaker covers on, glue a few pieces in place, and we're done! Let's take a look at the finished product. I can plug it in, and it works! Check it out! I love how this turned out! That's all for today's video, thanks for watching! If you like this kind of content, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time!